because of our rural location on Orcas, we're often overlooked. There are programs and supports that exist, but we often get the, well, it doesn't actually apply to you. Our classroom is bigger than it needs to be at Kaleidoscope, and we saw that as a benefit before, but we weren't using the space in the best way. By adding a little work mat or um, bringing in a different way to display the materials, we just found that our children were so much more engaged in their environment. And I think it showed with our children their days were spent more isolated, more individualized, and now we see more peer interactions in smaller groups where they're truly engaged on a deeper level. We found quickly that it was awesome to see the changes in, in Frankie uh, in her socialization and getting to work with other people and being able to not be clinging to us all the time and her just sort of various outgoing nature uh, really kind of bloomed. Once I started to learn about early achievers, I found out that the things that I sort of took for granted with our childcare, such as the monitoring and the sit-downs where we would talk about how she's doing and you know, what her development is like, where she has some room for growth, where she's doing really well, uh, that that was something that early achievers helped to, to have Blindoscope doing. I have felt very proud of the evolution and the changes that we've been able to make happen. Before participating in Early Achievers, our staff was very compassionate and very dedicated to spending quality time with the children. But the piece that we were missing was the education. Once we started participating with Early Achievers, it opened up some scholarship opportunities for us um, through Washington Scholarships. And since we've tapped into those resources, we've had nine of our employees complete their CDA, and we have four more that will be doing it again this fall. So now we're coming to it from a completely different level, still encompassing that compassion but now being able to add the professionalism to it. And that has been a great combination for us. With Early Achievers coming to Orcas Island to the three licensed centers here, it's really elevated early childhood education through the community with scholarships and being able to be very supportive with giving additional resources to help the families with early childhood and have them be more prepared for school. It's been extremely successful. With Kaleidoscope, the journey of Early Achievers really stabilized the program as a whole. Having more consistent families staying, having staff stay, have them becoming more educated in early childhood and wanting to stay, and really bringing a huge continuity of care and resources to this program, but also to the community. By having the different options for child care that work with different people, it makes it so that people can make choices based off of the style of the childcare facility as opposed to, do I feel that my children are gonna be safe there? Do I feel that they have the facility, you know, that, that I want? You can't make a, a bad choice of childcare out here. With Early Achievers, we are able to come out here on a more consistent basis, offer continuity of resources, and help support them in ways to grow and to offer that better quality that we want for Washington State children.